you already passed through though. You know the breaking miles for this is at three, right? It's at three? Yeah. I thought it was at five. everybody who is Louis 13 back again I am Louis <laughs> yo that pedal box is crazy bro if you guys are familiar with the channel you know I just recently installed a pedal box and I've been keeping that thing oh shit, I gotta watch out I've been keeping that thing on sport plus and if you guys don't know that's the highest setting man you don't know what a pedal box is look that thing up man it's this little thing right here goes plugged right into your um, throttle bro that throttle response is crazy I'm in sport right now and I barely pressed the gas and I slid on that corner as you guys just seen I don't know if you could tell that but I would never do that before ever now it's like effortless I'm sliding around corners like you got to be careful with this thing man for real so it's a little bit of a learning curve. Damn, look at this guy, man. Jesus Christ. Damn, now this person too got their blinker on. Look, this person got their blinker on and they're going the other way. Are you trying to play a joke, man? You trying to trick somebody or what? Damn, people just don't know how to drive, man. You guys are seeing it live. Sheesh. But yeah, anyways, man. I just installed that and that thing is crazy it's like the honeymoon phase all over again even though I never even really left the honeymoon phase let's get a little pull real quick sheesh that thing really does make this thing a whole another beast man it makes this thing a whole another beast shout out to my boy Jose for hooking it up man if you don't know my boy Jose go follow him He's the one that hooked it up with this uh, pedal box. Man, appreciate that greatly, man. But uh, yeah, man, anyways, I ain't even tell you guys what this is all about today. But even though you guys already know it's in the title, in the thumbnail, you guys already know. I'm going to get my first oil change in the new whip, man. Well, I've had it for like almost four months already, so it's not like the new, new whip anymore, but it's still the new whip. So we're gonna go see that process and I would do it myself but on this first one um, this dude actually the manager over at big brand tires where I'm going to get it done at he owes me a free oil change so I'm like yo can't turn down a free oil change man so for everybody like oh why don't you just do your oil yourself like I am gonna be doing my oil myself but I got a free oil change so I gotta take advantage of that man and I'm going out of town tomorrow so I thought perfect time I'm at about 4,500 miles. I was gonna do it when I got to um, a thousand, cause I was looking it up, you know, seeing what people said. But a lot of people told me to just wait till 5,000, man, because you know that oil needs to go through, cycle through, and uh, you know, really do what it needs to do. So I don't know. I, I don't really know the difference if you get it done at a thousand if you get it done at five thousand some people say to get it done at a thousand that way all the heavy metals and everything that's in there and my radar is just going crazy today but yeah guys um some people say damn that pedal box is hidden too many distractions right now but yeah people say to get it done at a thousand so all those heavy metals and everything don't go in your engine and all that um and then some people say to let it all cycle through. You need to let all that uh, original oil go all the way through the break-in period. Plus, past that, whatever, whatever. But I don't know, man. I let it just go to 4,500, damn near to uh, 5,000. Let me see. Let me see what my oil life is at. What the hell? I don't know why my oil life says 99%. That's kind of weird. What the heck? 
Maybe I accidentally reset that one day on accident. Hold up, I need to call the dealer. I need to call the dealership because that shouldn't be 99%. So I'm gonna go check that out. I'm gonna call the dealership real quick because I took my car in recently. If you guys aren't familiar with the channel, go check it out. I was having some issues with the whip. Um, so I took it into the dealership and they might have reset that. I don't know why they would if they didn't change the oil. I'm pretty sure they didn't change the oil. Unless I got a complimentary oil change, I don't know. I'm about to hit him up though, and then I'll check right back in with you guys, all right? <laughs> yeah, man, these motherfuckers didn't answer my call, man, so I'm pulling up on them, as you guys can see. Pulling up to the dealership. It's right down the street from where I'm getting my oil changed anyway, so... Um, I'm just gonna ask them real quick, and plus, it'll work out because I could ask them how much an oil change is. That way you guys could know that. Yeah, um, I came the other day not too long ago and um, I had some stuff done. Um, but for some reason I'm about to go get my oil changed. And it says I have 99% oil life. But I don't think you guys changed the oil so I don't know if they reset the code. Alright. Spin them. <laughs> my boy Gio. What up G? Freaking broke a rotor, dude. Damn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Doing all them donuts? <laughs> no, freaking, I was about to go get my oil changed and the oil life says 99%, so I was like, what the hell? What? So I don't know if somebody reset the oil thing, because I don't think they would change it for free. They did it here? Uh, remember when I brought the car in? So oh. I don't know if somebody reset it, because I didn't reset it, and it definitely wasn't no 99%. So unless they gave me a free oil change on the house, yeah, I, I, doubt I, I highly doubt that. <laughs> so I don't know if someone might have reset that oil or what for some reason. You already passed through though. You know the braking miles for this is at three, right? It's at three? Yeah. I thought it was at five. Yeah. Oh shit, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, they must have accidentally reset it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, they, they didn't do an oil I figured they wouldn't. So, yeah. how much do you guys charge for an oil change? Uh, what is this? I mean, this one is two hundred for you. Ninety-five. <laughs> Ninety-five. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I already have. I have a free one set up okay. over there. So yeah, no maybe worries. next yeah, time for sure. I apologize. I just base it off of your miles now. Yeah. So. Uh, so you're due between five to seven thousand. Oh. So you're close to there. Hey, I thought you said it was three, Geo. Hey, Geo, three. Five to seven thousand on this one. It's three? Maybe at three. Damn, bro, I thought it was five. I could have swore I seen it was five. Nah. I mean, people, people usually go for what that says. Yeah. But with a car like this, I do it at three. Dang, I didn't know that. At three, and then from there to 75,000 miles. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. shit. Just, too late for that uh, now. I think the owner, owner manual, manual says that too. Yeah. It tells you the break-in miles that you're supposed to change the oil. All right, I'm gonna check it out. Yeah. All right, I'm late for my oil change though, so. I got a free one at Brick Brand, That's bro, right. so I have to take advantage of that. Right on, man. <laughs> All right, I'll hit you up. All right. Dang, so you guys heard that. Apparently, I waited too long to get my oil changed. I could have swore it said 5,000 miles, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna look it up right now while I'm waiting, getting my oil changed and see what it says. I know it's 5,000 after. Maybe the first break-in oil change is at three, I don't know. I'm about to look it up right now though, but yeah, we on our way. Um, apparently, I don't know how that got reset, so. Anyways, I was like, dang, hope maybe they gave me a free oil change on the house for some reason, I don't know, but apparently not. That would have been highly doubtable. But yeah, man, I'm about to pull up, about to get this oil change popping. But hey, if you guys were wondering what an oil change costs on a scat pack, at the dealership. Oh shit, damn fucking pedal box, bro. At the dealership is uh, $95, is what he told me. Damn, did I go the wrong way? Shit, man, I'm fucking up right now. All right, I'm gonna get back with you guys in a minute. Seven, Got the C7, guys. That's just hard. Oh, it's a girl up in there? Either a girl or two with some long hair. 
but yeah you guys see it i'm out here getting my oil changed so while i'm getting it changed I decided to go on a little walk check out the scenery you guys see it across the street i don't know if you guys could even hear me right now because it's mad loud but i'm right by a place where i go to oh all of a sudden they got a charger the other day when they rented me some shit i had to get a damn uh compass and i did a review on that thing if you guys want to check it out but yeah like i was saying while i get my oil changed i figured i might as well come to a little spot where i get some stuff a couple grocery type items need some deodorant you know can't be smelling out here in the summer boy that's crazy but yeah i decided to come over here and get some stuff while i wait as you guys can see, who is Louis 13 with the 13? What you know about that, boy? Yes, sir. Gotta have those. Who would I be with the 13 in my name if I didn't have the 13s, man? You know what I'm saying? He got game, too. Yeah, man, we out here in the city. There's a little Dodge. A little V6 thing. This is the city that I'm from, guys. Not a very big city pretty small remember the place i took you guys the other day that was slow that was like you know the upper class type area 30 minutes away from here and this is the lower class type area don't get me wrong there's some rich people around here you know farmers and stuff and you know even some people with some nice homes but nothing like slow or that area yeah, man, I'm coming up in here real quick. Lassen's, you know, the natural food spot. I know your boy like to be healthy, but um, I'm gonna get back with you guys in a minute, man. All right, guys, I just got done getting my oil changed. And over there where uh, I got it changed at it for uh, oil change is about 80 bucks full synthetic Because if you didn't know Excuse me the scats take full synthetic nothing else and um, Yeah, as you guys heard me say before at the dealership. It's about 95. So I mean you could always go to Walmart, too. I think they do full synthetic for like close to 60 70 bucks but you know that's that's around the range you're gonna pay like something close between 70 to 90 something bucks maybe a hundred depending on where you go to I know some um, some shops they charge in the hundreds so if you're paying more than 90 something bucks then it's probably too much you could probably do better than that honestly you could just do it yourself that's what I'm gonna do but like I said I had that free one so you know it wouldn't make sense not to do that so I had to get that but man I just want to show you guys real quick the burbles that this baby right here is making right now man this thing is popping and cracking like crazy right now I'm gonna try to show you guys see if you can hear it Yeah, pretty much guys that's what it is for the oil change not much else to it you guys stay tuned because on the next one I'm gonna be showing you how to do the oil um, shouldn't be you never know man could be pretty soon the way I've been driving this thing I've had it for about three and a half almost four months and I'm already at 5,000 miles damn near 4,500 and I'm going out of town tomorrow so damn near it's gonna be 5,000 first road trip in the scat coming tomorrow so stay tuned for that as well other than that that's it for this one hope you guys enjoyed hope it helped out if you had any questions about you know oil with scats uh if you guys enjoy the content don't forget to like share subscribe drop a comment down below tell me what you guys want to see next and i'll get it done for you all the links to everything i use and recommend are in the description so go check that out if you need anything and it's all there for you man who is louis 13 checking out Salute. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one.